And we're back. Null Fortress. Adjust my mic a little bit. And let's go sneaking forward. We've got two scary looking Ogrillians by the look of it. I think we may as well drop traps. First one will be a special trap to slow. Oh, that failed. That's pretty rare at this point in the game. I want just an extra one just in case. Cool. I don't think we'll need to worry about... Oh, there's not really anywhere to retreat to. So we're going to be... We might even use a... F uh, what have we got? I think we might be able to sleep them if they were hostile. I'm not sure sleep works against targets that aren't hostile yet. I think maybe a backstab might be the way to go. Come on. Would be kind of hard to stealth in the middle of a rope bridge. I mean, you're going to be seen, right? Jeez, isn't it? <laughs> Riveting. Come on. What is our stealth score? We should easily be stealthing out here. And... There we go. With feeling. Let's sneak in and let's take out... Hit or Null. I think he's got a better chance of getting out if we do that. Pretty hard hit. Two hundred gold. That's pretty steep. One hundred gold. Hmm. <laughs> run, 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 run. Might get them both at this rate. That's one down. Oh, he's got like 20 hit points. So he's one backstab and probably a snare away from dying. Oh, okay. Come on then. Nah, let's put an arrow in him. Maybe we can break stealth and tr It'd be kind of cool to keep this trap around if we could. Nine hit points. That's a good backstab. We'll keep this here for later use. Hiya! Oh, yes! Magical short bow. Now we're talking. Short bow plus one. Oh, where have you been all my life? We get rid of our old bow. Chuck the gems away. Yeah, didn't think so. Lots of great items here. What's this, actually? Cold resistance. Oh, yeah. Hey. That's that's good. That's the bow we wanted. And, like, I had no idea it would be here, but we found it. Ah. Very happy. Uh, what are we going to find down here? I remember the Null Stronghold being pretty easy when I played when I was younger. Oh, I guess we could just stand here and look pretty. But yes, compared to the other areas we've been to, especially up north with the sirens and the... Uh, yeah, Nulls go down pretty, pretty easily. We've already fought some. That said, if they hit us, we're in trouble. Halberds are no joke. Let's see if we can... I think there are some caves over this side, and if we can find them, we're sure to get some good loot. I'm pretty sure that's how this game works, is... Here we go, there's a cave. Let's have a look. Farts. Lots of them. I think a sleep spell is in order. Sleep. And who's left? Just one. We still managed to miss. Plus one arrows and... Okay, let him go. He's... There we go.
Are we better off using a bow to hit these fallen enemies? We might be. I think we get two attacks per round with a bow. That's such low hit points. Yeah, it's two attacks per round with the bow. Smack. Yeah, sleep is the best spell early on. How are we for experience points? Yeah. Hmm. Nothing here to loot. Let's take it up this way. <clears throat> All right. Let's see if we can locate. What's this? Xfart. Three of them. I'm pretty sure we can just fight them straight out. Although, let's use our bow. Oh, we're about to get exposed. Yep. Alright, let's put them in this choke hold. Let's choke. We might be able to slow down how many can hit us at once. Good. We've now got enough hit points that I'm not terribly worried about getting critical hit by a squat and shot to bits. I, mean, I could use a shield spell, but yeah, there we go. Let's take it up here. Any of these caves? Are caves marked on the map? I don't think they are. Had a look around on YouTube. There aren't too many other playthroughs with the randomizer, so hopefully we'll see more as well. Uh, we just broke stealth. Let's go stealthy again out here. Yeah, I want to be sneaky when we get in there. Look at our little pixelated buddy. And we're playing this game again. And stealth. What have we got in here? A couple of spots and a... Uh. Let's see if we can get a shot with a bow out of one of these. No. If we f stand here, we might be able to block off how many attackers. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, we'll be right. Let's examine their stats for a second, just for fun. One attack per round. Their Thaco is really, really high, so the chance to hit us is low. And our armor class. I mean, that's if we had zero armor class, which is about what we do have, I think. Yeah. So they, they only hit on a critical hit. So they got, what is it, a 5% chance to hit us. So you can see how... Well, that bat, like, moved us out of the way then. Yeah. yeah, you can see how a fighter with, you know, plate or full plate armor would have, you know... Certain encounters just aren't a, aren't a risk anymore. Do you think his pants are flared? Like 70s? Whoa, that was 16 damage, nice. Okay, I'm gonna guess that's trapped, so we'll disable our AI and stick ourselves in searching traps mode. And I'm gonna quick save because you guys don't really wanna watch me do this. Oh, that's a bastard sword. My first character had points in bastard swords. The problem with bastard swords is that they are well, there aren't that many of them. Oh, look, you can see his furry feet, maybe? Anyway. Lalox Minor Drain, not a bad spell, actually. I mean, the problem is it doesn't really boost up with levels, so it's only useful early on, where it acts kind of like a healing spell, but... Yeah. That said, later on, when you can really ripple out a whole heap of spells at once, it's not bad. There are some uses for it. Okay. Yeah, easier to sneak once we're in a cave. Nice and dark. 
And I think that's enough for us to warrant a sleep spell, which we don't have. Uh, I think we're going to just go straight in, actually. I'm going to sneak again. And I'm going to start with a backstab. That should be enough for us to fight straight out. We're still going to play it somewhat smart by moving to here. That should minimize how many can attack us at once. There we go. Well, not really. Oh well. We're likely to get some sort of wound here. Critical hit. Now, normally I'd have the t the AI run. Well, there we go. There's our hit. Normally I'd have the AI run where it would it would automatically s switch targets. So you're only getting hit on criticals. Uh, come on. Sort of really wanted you to hit then, didn't I? All right. That didn't really help. I was hoping to be able to sneak in time. Let's see if I'm fast enough. Yeah. <laughs> Treachery. Oh, but then you miss. Again, these guys remind me of the... Oh, what are they called? Little Saiyan men guys from Dragon Ball Z. Damn. Okay, enough of this. You, you have, you've done it. Uh, no, actually, no, no, we should be fine. We'll just heal it. He's gonna run away, surely. Yeah, let's let him run. Focus on his friends. And we'll focus on his friends. Yeah, once we start to win, we keep winning. I want to save my spells for when I've got gnolls to deal with. Hiya! You know, you could hit. You could just, like, actually stab him. Okay, we're going to switch to this guy. And we're going to take out one of these. Which I should have probably been doing this whole time. 20 charges. It'll take us a long time to burn through all those. There we go. Again, with a full party, you just demolish these guys. And I'm curious to see what's in here. Alright. You finish with a... Uh, hang on. Oh. What have we got over here? Now, I am going to save scum for traps, because I don't want to be... You guys don't want to watch me. Oh. You guys don't want to watch me have to sort of. To actually detect traps reliably would mean to walk, you know, five steps every 10 seconds with the searching on. And even then you still get caught. All right, let's hit this thing with a blind. Thing is, carrying crawlers are pretty nasty. Save a spell. We absolutely cannot be hit in close range by this thing. Oofed. Alright, let's break line of sight. Which we should be able to do. Oh, it'd be better if we ran into an enemy right now, wouldn't it? Um, how many hit points has he got? 14. He's got four now. Good. I'd almost risk going for a backstab, but no. We aren't going to muck around with a carrion crawler. If he p hits us, he can paralyze us, and that's the end of the game. Ooh, Cat's Grace. This will give us... Ooh, because we're a rogue. I wonder if it, if, we, if, we considers, if it considers us to be a rogue or a thief, but or a, a rogue or a wizard, but... We should gain 1d8 dexterity points, but it can't raise us above 20. So the most we would get is, well, just plus one, which is not really worth it. 
but I guess I'm not sure what difference you get between 19 and 20. Hmm. It's a good spell for certain as a buff for certain characters in your party. So I know there are lots of NPCs that don't have a whole heap of um a whole heap of dexterity. I'll just oh, I could silence X Discord, but oh no 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 switch to blade. Jeez, oh, that was my stuff up. And I know I could just fight them straight out, but I hate being stabbed by Svart. So just it's just dishonorable, you know. Yeah, cop and arrow. Okay, we're going to do this by backstabs, aren't we? And yes, you can see once again the game spawning in enemies places we've already really cleared. Come on, how about you try and sneak? Okay, arrow as it is. And finish him off. Good. Let's roll back this way and see if we can stealth. I don't think so. Oh, yep. Sneakity sneak sneak. They go into my last known position. They're in an ah, oh, see, with a long enough sword, you could backstab both of them. There we go. 12 damage. So he rolled the absolute best he could. 1d6. Let's, let's do the math for a second. Yeah, so he has no strength bonus. His short sword does 1d6 damage, and he rolled a critical hit, which for him would just be double damage. He's got two hit points. That's an arrow. Let's just avoid taking more damage than we need to. There we go. Now we're going to sneak. Go up here and check out this last cave because there's a good chance there was something good in there. When you're ready. Now ah, we'll just run it. My thinking is that Carrion Crawler could have been guarding something. We've still got plenty of XP, like 400, 400 XP up that thing. Let's see. Oh, no, there's nothing in here. Yeah. In the original, I think you get a Tome of Strength, which we would love. Going from 17 to 18 is good. I mean, going from 18 to 19 is really good. You just bypass all those warrior percentile strength figures. Now, our health's a bit low, and I'm having an attack of the Stingy. How many healing potions do we have? 11. One second. Let's have a look. Drink potion. That'll keep us going for a bit longer. I could just rest it, but I don't think I will. Let's just see. One sec. <laughs> okay, back to stealth. <laughs> Just had a visitor. I'm telling them I'm recording. Huh. Oh, I didn't know you could go, through, go this way. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's far. Three. Will we survive? Oh, wow. That's the worst possible timing. That'll probably make him run. No, it won't. Come on, man, you got this. Shank. That's one hit point. That's enough for us to 
Yeah, make him run away. See, they either take half an hour to kill or they'd go down in one hit. Okay. I haven't seen that, I haven't seen any knolls yet, have you noticed? Is there a cave in here? No. There we go. Knoll. So, let's understand the knoll. Knolls don't have a terribly high armor class. Only hit once, but they do hit with a halberd. That's a pretty nasty weapon. So we really don't want to get caught in close with a knoll. Gee, that took him out, didn't it? Beautiful. And we get 35 experience points, which is not much, but it'll add up. There are lots of knolls for us to fight, and we've got plenty of spells to deal with them. Now the more advanced knoll types, like veterans, we need to be very careful of them. They can do serious harm. Just gonna sneak up here. Let's get into the shadows. It'll help us sneak. There we go. That's so cool how it's modelled. Nothing. Oh, hang on. Can we go down here? And yeah, there's nothing here. Oh, Nolan. Nolan Elite. Die, scum. How much... What are his statistics like? One hit. He's got a good... Uh, yeah, no, his Teko is terrible. We could probably fight him up close with a weapon. Well, let's try it out. I mean, he's got a halberd, so bad things can happen. I'm just sort of breaking up the combat, thinking that I might be able to get more hits off this way. And I will just fight him straight out. <sighs> of course. The moment I start saying that there's no real threat, this happens. Maybe that number's not, not correct either. Very possible. All right, we'll fight it smart. Should be able to hide over here. And if that's the case, and he goes into shadows. Sneak, kitty, sneak, sneak. Let's pop over here and shank him in the back. Should have no trouble hitting him because he's got low armor class and he's huge. Thirteen damage. He's got five hit points remaining. I like how there's sort of a, a delay before they chase after you. Like they're just processing the pain. Okay, can we get round? Oh, I can sneak here. No, turns out I can't. There's a good chance that arrow will hit him. Alright. Health's getting a little low. We're gonna... Since we have more spells than we have healing potions and healing spells... We will use, we'll, try, we'll sort of bias towards using more spells rather than less to disable enemies and attack them while they're helpless. What is even up here? I think this might just be uh, some weird errant part of the map. <laughs> Surely someone wouldn't spend all that time making this amazing map and then just put nothing up here. I don't remember. Yeah, there's like nothing up here. That was a complete waste of time. It's nearly as bad as that time I chased an archer for two and a half hours on stream. I mean, it wasn't that long, but it felt that long. Still sneaking. Let's sneak in. <laughs> That's a slasher. Okay, we're gonna fight this guy. We said we'd use spells, so let's drop a blind on him. He's blinded, which means he's totally helpless. Okay, well, that little journey up north wasn't worth doing. Let's roll in here. Alright, 
what have we got? Single null elite. We could hit him and then use a... That's great. We could possibly use a panic spell on him. We'll go for a backstab and then go for a panic spell. For a spook spell. Let's give that a shot. We hit him pretty hard. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, well, we don't want him chasing us. Let's try Spook. Okay, now he'll be a pain to catch, but he won't be threatening us. Let's see if we can get an arrow on him. How long does Spook actually last, though? Because it seemed pretty quick last time. A couple of rounds. Long enough to, for us to deal with him, of course. Uh, we don't want to sort of have him trigger a whole lot of other enemies. Let's deal with... Oh, yeah. Didn't last very long at all. It's a matter of rounds. I'm pretty sure Spook... Let's just check this. Duration is... Only over three rounds. So, yeah. But it's great later on because the saving throw just kind of gets better and better. Okay. Sorry. And done. Okay. <clears throat> It's a single null on his own, or on her own. Not really sure, actually. Jeez, that, let's. I think a single arrow will do that. We should be faster than the null as well. There we go. Love the blood running down the stairs. That's cool. I did find this place really creepy when I was younger. It just seemed like this abandoned fortress that was taken over by these dog people. <clears throat> and these structures down here being, you know, cells that, were, that weren't at all... Huh. Uh, yeah, we'll just fight them. And we'll sneak. Oh, what? See, this is... This is crap. Okay, well, we're going to drop the gnarliest web, I think, here. We're going to just have them all chase us. And then we're going to drop a web right here. And hopefully catch enough of them. It's a bit close to us, actually. Let's run out of the range. There we go. Now, web is usually pretty overkill for farts, but that many I didn't want to have to tangle with them. Besides, this is kind of faster. Let's sneak in and see if there's any more caught in our web. Okay. We've kind of blocked off our way that, our path forward, so we'll have to chill for a second. <laughs> Radar reconnaissance here is showing lots and lots of nasty stuff. And the chieftain. I mean, there's a chance we just survive, because we've got shorty bonuses. Yeah, okay, spells out. Let's get the rest of those farts. It's hard not to pronounce it as fart, not gonna lie. I wanna say I'm a better person than that, but I'm not. Why do we miss, like, a backstab? I guess we're not a fighter, but even so. I should just fight them directly. Besides, we're out of the good arrows. Well, the, the crap arrows. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna come. See that? That's just. Deeply, deeply unfair. Okay. And um, I guess 
here it makes some sense. There would be gnolls all over the place, but we've sort of cleared this whole section out. <sighs> Let's try and take him out. No, uh, we'll take out the Xvart first. So he's actually a threat, and then we can deal with the elite. In fact, we might be able to break line of sight with the null and not have it be a threat to us later. Okay. I hear footsteps. There he is. Oop, there it is. We're not going to stop him in time. Pretty we don't have any more snares here. How are we for snares? We've got one left. Okay, we're just going to have to fight this guy directly. Null elites. We shouldn't take hits. I mean... It's more of a threat than the, than the Svarts, but... We should be right. What spells do we have? Mirror image. There, he'll have to land like five hits in succession to get us. So we're pretty much safe now. Not perfectly, but pretty much. Come on. You got this. Good. Okay. I think I might want to rest anyway to get some of our area spells back. Because for here, we can probably get away with more sleeps than anything else. And I think we're only going to use one web. We'll use more mirror images. And I think a whole person, that would work against a null, wouldn't it? Let's, let's show off whole person. We're unlikely to get any spells cast at us. So that should be good. We could also chuck a lightning bolt in there. All right, you convinced me. Let's do it. Let's see if we can rest here without getting mobbed. So we've got anything. Yeah, I, I want to get a lightning spell. So lightning is a dangerous spell to cast, lightning bolt. Okay. And I'm going to just sneak in there. <laughs> oh, look at you. Three of them. I think... I think we're going to do a backstab. We're already going to be engaged. There we go. That technically was not a backstab, but still did plenty of damage. Let's see if we can weaken one of them off. And we'll get a little bit further in. Get one more. Oh, see, my tactic of just retreating doesn't work when there's this sort of enemy around. Uh, yeah, you guys go to sleep. I'll deal with this knoll myself. Noel's got 15 hit points. <laughs> there we go. We should be able to wipe him out. Love the old sprite work too. I mean, that looks cool. He's got that halberd in one hand. Okay, let's get out of here. Probably notice that I quick save a whole heap in this. Yeah, we're not doing a no reload run. That would be terrifying. How many nulls have we got? Three. I think we can deal with two with a 
with the mirror image. There we go. Now that's a problem. Idea. I should have used my my snares too, but I can't really justify it here. So this is going to look really cool. Now lightning. Oh, okay. Here is the problem. Lightning bolt hits something and then bounces off. It is very likely about to hit us. <laughs> that was pretty good, actually. I, I've almost never used this spell, but with a solo game, it's more doable. I'm thinking we might be able to blind him. He looks big and nasty. What have we got? Only one attack per round. Psycho is much better. His save verses are pretty nominal. Yeah, this might land. Blinded, so he's helpless. I should say there are counters to being blinded. If you're dealing with a spell caster, they can. Oh, let's cast it again. Both blinded. Beautiful. Okay, well, we can deal with this guy with one arrow. I said with one arrow. Good one. Let's deal with the chieftain first. He's definitely a scarier. And also, he's got slightly less time to being blinded. But blind lasts for ages. Hmm. Let's we'll have our hold spell to try. Does feel a little bit cheap, not gonna lie. But then, if we tried to fight straight up, we would be in a lot of trouble. One playthrough I considered was doing a fighter cleric. That's a great, um, it's a great solo class. I mean, you're just in heavy, heavy armor. You're still casting decent spells. Not as good as the spells we have here. Cleric spells are, aren't usually as um, as offensive as um, mage spells, but still pretty potent. Uh, what else have we got here? Uh, we've got one null there. Let's take him out. Beautiful. Five hit points, that's probably an arrow, maybe two. Hi, no. Tempted to just ma magic missile him, but we're better than that. There we go. So we can actually walk down into these little spots down here. And if I remember correctly, actually, I think our friend is gonna be down here, but I'm gonna just check upstairs first. So as mentioned before, the rules of our solo run are a little different. We can pick up companions for immediate questing. But we don't really want to use them for combat. Hmm. Let's sleep, y'all. Yeah, but the veteran... And now, a little bit cheap, let's drop a trap here. Did that work? Oh, and the spell delay. Since snares are kind of like spells, that didn't work. But it will now. Definitely overkill, but here we are, you know. In fact, we may not even trigger this thing. He's going to keep moving. That's a smart move. We're going to have to just waste our backstab on this little spot. Nah, we'll just take him up with arrows. Pretty decent hit. He's got seven hit points left, but the snare will get him. Big sneeze coming. <coughs> oh, man. Got him. Oh, that was a big sneeze.
I'm tossing up whether streaming this would be any fun. I guess my preference as a viewer is to always be able to skip forward. If there's like a boring bit, totally would understand if you guys skip through my content too, because sometimes it's just grind. And dinner here. I can just tell it to run on her own, but that just seems kind of mean. Um, uh, see, this is the thing. I kind of like the idea of doing quests with characters, but at the same time, it does really ruin the... Yeah, it does kind of ruin the the way the game's... The, the whole solo thing. Hmm. Yeah, no, she can get back on her own. Off with you, if that's all you have to offer. See, that's just super mean. I know where Minsk is. No, we can't take her. Hmm. She's not all that great a mage anyway. Besides, let's be honest, I'd probably just rob her. Take us her, um... That's everything here, isn't it? I think we got all the caves, so yeah. And we'll put another mark over here. And take it home. So yeah, um, didn't here I believe is an evoker, which means there are some very important spell schools that she's not able to utilize. So specialist mages, if you want to play a mage with lots and lots of spells, um, you can play specialist mage where you drop one spell school, you gain a bonus with the spell school you chose. So if you're, I think it's as an example, if you're an illusionist, which is a pretty common one, you lose necromancy, which means you miss, you can't, you know cast spells like Animate Dead or Abadalzim's Horrid Wilting, which is a great spell. So, oh, we did have a snare here. <laughs> Don't mind me. Okay, let's take it to here. I can't bear the thought of not being able to cast a spell. Ingot. It's an interesting name. I think Ingot has 31 hit points and a Thacko of 11. So he's, yeah, an armor class of 3. So he's actually better than all the other gnolls we just fought. Let's see if we can get in with a sleep. I expect not. Oh, that worked. Okay. Let's pepper him with arrows. So if you play a gnome, you can play a thief illusionist instead of a thief mage like we are now. Um... I chose not to do that because I like certain spells later on. And I think there are ways to increase the number of spells you have, like the Ring of Ever Memory and whatnot. I'd be a fan of... Oh, pretty. What have we got here? A Magic Halberd. A Flame Dance Ring. I think it's time to go and sell our loot. What do you reckon? I'll pop all these away. I like how we have so much money and we're really only spending it on, like, on, ex on expendables, on um, consumables, arrows and potions and things. I like, I like what this mod, the um, randomizer, does to your economy. Oh, I said I would do this. Let's start dropping traps here and there. And we'll leave the special trap for any encounter. So we've got a trap here near Squirrel Corner. That would allow us to drag enemies here if we encounter them. Does this take us anywhere new? Don't think so. Let's go stealth mode. Sparts, three of them. Well, we could use our trap on that, but I think we can probably just shank them. Yep. Honestly, if you died at two Svarts, I'm not sure there's much I can do for you. And the thing is, by the time we get tough enough to really do any sort of melee fighting, then the enemies get tougher too. So, you know. As time goes on, we'll bias far more towards our spell casting. And 
advanced traps than we will uh, actual combat. We'll certainly do it still, but it's a random knoll in the middle of nowhere. Huh. I guess that's the grassy knoll. <laughs> the important thing is that I think I'm funny. And how about you cop an arrow? Two damage. He's got three hit points remaining. The trap would be overkill. Let's see if we can take him out with just arrows. He's got one hit point. Go with blade. The bigger risk is to run backwards and encounter more nasties out and about. The Cloud Peak Mountains. These run between the Sword Coast and Arm. Though technically Nashkel is part of Arm, so yeah. Still got our trap over here if we need it. And we've got a special trap too to throw into the midst of nasty enemy groups. Yeah, that lightning bolt, bolt spell is just so dangerous to use. <laughs> like I thought it had a pretty clear line of fire there, but you can't just target area, you have to target an enemy, which means they can move in an alarming and unpredicted way, and then you've, you've had it. That's what I'm talking about, 22 damage. This is why I like playing a rogue. Oh. oh, yes. Yes. Do you know, um, in Icewind Dale 2, there is this amazing quest right at the start that involves a dead cat. It must be a, a sort of running sort of meme or trope in games like this where you have to find someone's you know, dead cat or missing cat or something. And it's just... I really should do a playthrough. 33, that's pretty nasty. All that says a bit of nope. So we really want something to deal with it. I'm thinking... We can't hold, because hold works against mammals. Well, actually, dogs are mammals, but against humanoids, I should say. So that's no good. This is why I don't normally carry this spell. Um, I think we're going to chuck a trap at it. And slowed. Beautiful. Well, that should be, yeah, one arrow, if not two. Maybe a bit more, but he's so slow. There we go. Interesting here, we, we have a quest to... Oh, a cave. Caves can mean loot. Loot can mean wonderful, wonderful things. Any more in here? I think you and I are going to have to find a solution for this problem here. We really can't hold him. I think it's be a backstab and then... Oh, I've got a trap here. Tell you what, I'll pop this here in case I need to run. There we go. That's some 4D chess right there. Now the trick is, if the bats get in the way, we won't be able to run out there. Oh, come on, I want the backstab. That hit relatively hard, so did that. And you are pretty much dead. Slowed. We should better run away and pour arrows onto him. Six hit points. Slow is terrible. If you get slowed, you're so vulnerable. Obviously not as bad as being completely paralyzed, but it's not great. And usual rule, we're going to see if we can detect traps in a couple of seconds. And then I'm going to quick save. And then I'm going to open it. And if there's a trap, I'll reload because you don't want to watch me... Search for half an hour. Ooh. Studded leather armor. I won't risk putting it on. Because it could be cursed. Okay. So a dead cat at the bottom of a... At the bottom of a um, waterfall. Caldo and Crumb. I'm going to assume there's some nastiness happening here. And we're out of traps, aren't we? And one more, I think. Once more with feeling. We could preemptively 
We've got hold spells. Let's see if we can get them to work. The Dryad of Cloud Peaks. Hmm. Hmm. So this tree is particularly important, apparently. My experience of dryads is they could handle these two, no worries. Let's help them. <laughs> okay, so they know it's a magic tree. You don't want to do this. Just think of how beautiful this tree is. Surely it's a wonder of na nature. Ah, so we default to combat. I have to say, I do wish this... I do wish we had more options sometimes besides just combat. Okay. Okay, so we got hit anyway, and we still let the spell off, but that didn't work. That did not work. Okay, we've got our trap over here. That'll probably get used. I want to try that spell again, but geez, it took a while to cast, didn't it? I wish the whole person had an area of effect as well. I'd hope to catch them both. Let's just try and see what we get. We got crumb out of the way. We can separate them. So Caldo is chasing off after us, which is all good and wonderful for him, but that means... Do we actually have a trap here, or did we move somewhere else? Where did I put that trap? It was over here. <laughs> we went for quite a walk. He is actually gaining on us pretty well, and Caldo's got 20 hit points. And I don't think it's worth us trying to fight him up close yet. Yeah. He's a fighter, so multiple attacks per round, decent attacko, he would get through. Let's uh, keep ourselves moving. We might be able to sneak attack here. 20 hit points isn't much, so we should be able to get in there and shank him. But then get away quickly. Again, really a fan of you actually hitting your targets, Aiden. Sometimes I wonder, if we'd gone with the elf, we'd get a plus one to hit. One would have to have thought that would help us out. But then the saving throws matter more as the game goes on. Alright. Cop trap. There's every chance that'll just kill him outright. Now I'm trying to think if I actually did drop a trap here or not. We get another backstab chance anyway. Oh, left with one hit point. Let's uh, keep an eye on him and put an arrow on him. Oh, I'm glad you had a critical hit then too. All right, let's go find his brother and kill him. God, that was fairly cutthroat of me, wasn't it? He crumb should be around here somewhere. Probably still held. So that hold spell is not terribly useful. If we have a look at it, hold does not have a saving. Oh, no, there is a penalty. Minus one penalty. <clears throat> but by now, our spook's probably getting negative two, maybe negative three penalty. So you've got to kind of weigh these things up. Now, Crumb's got 31 hit points, so likely we'll need a solution what have we got honestly let's wave him got the bugger if he breaks out I'll, I'll use mirror mirror image I almost said mirror's edge which is a very different game God, I'm just imagining if you had to put up with me playing Oh, what the hell he got through? Okay, he's got th 25 hit points. 
We can boost our damage by using the wand between attacks. There we go. Three. Oh, not liking that. One more. Hey. And a magic club. We'll probably keep that. Club plus one. So, my next skill point will be into blunt weapons to allow us to... This is good against um, skeletons. Okay, well we did that. Let's see what the dryad says. And then we're going to probably have a, have a little sleep and heal up. Also, thanks dryad for not like, you know, charming one of them or something. Or summoning a fire ele elemental to do your bidding. Although, who saves a tree with a fire elemental? Here is a potion that may help you in your journeys. One rep reputation. Are we at full reputation? Yes, we are. That's good. Things are cheap now. And a single potion of antidote. Now I'm curious what you get if you don't, if you don't help her. Oh well. I think I'm going to make the cut here. Um, so I'm over time. I will catch you guys for the next one. Thanks for watching.